Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to continue from last week's video where I discussed about randomization. So last week I taught you the per instance random node, right? Where we can randomize the colors or the you know shading or even the UVs of um, a certain material, but it only applies for instance uh, meshes. So today I'm going to do the same you know, to create a randomization node for static meshes like this. So in Archvis, let's say you have, you know, a, a, a box or a, a steps, you know, um, and, and you have unwrapped their UVs in the same way, you know, and clone them. If you apply the same material, you have the same materials like that, the same look, right? So how do we change this from one material to something like this um, using the same material? Yep, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's continue. Okay, so before I continue, I have to give credit to where I got this idea from. Yep, so um, actually this idea is from this user called Construct. You know, I'll put a link to his blog. You know, where he described about this uh, random number generator where he created um, this uh, node. You know, so I got the idea from him and um, he have a lot of other very cool things going on. You know, so if you want to explore a bit more, please uh, go to his uh, uh, site. I'll, I'll include the link in the description below. Yep. So, um, and also before I continue, you know, if there's any other thing that you, you know, any problems that you face and you, you know, you just want to share ideas on what problems you want to solve, you know, comment in the section below. I'll think of how uh, ways if I can do it. You know, I'll share some ideas how we can solve these problems. You know, I love uh, um, experimenting with all this stuff. So, so let me know, and let's continue. So, just a quick theory of how the randomization work. You know, in this uh, material node that I'm going to create, right? Is to use a noise noise map. Yeah, so, so you, you can use any noise map that you want, but the idea is to use the position of the static mesh, right? And using the XY position of the mesh in the world, we are going to point to a particular point in the noise map. So the noise map is made up of, um, you know, different pixels and each pixels represent different black and white numbers, right? So, so using that particular position of the mesh we're gonna let's say um, it's somewhere around here and it's gonna point to this position and it's gonna give me the color of that um, or rather the linear color of that particular noise map you know so so it's a uh, it's it's it works you know so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna build this you know randomization generator okay so let's continue Okay, so in this instance, I'm going to use material functions. Okay, so um, we can create once and then after that, using the material function, we can reuse it in other places. Okay, so so I have created a normal wood material. Basically, it's just a diffuse uh, map, which is assigned to here. And then now I'm going to create a material function. Okay, so let's go to materials and then go to material function and let's call it mf randomizer okay so so um let's open it up okay so material function expects an output so the first note that we need is an object position so object position you know so this node is going to tell us exactly where this object is in the xyz um, um world position right but because we only need the x, y, we, we are using a 2D plane, but this is going um, giving me a 3D um, information. So I'm going to mask it with a component mask. Okay, so I'm just going to mask with an RG component. I just want the red and green. So generally, RGB will correspond with x, y, z uh, coordinates, right? So, so basically, I mask it just to get the x and y position, okay? And then I'm going to divide this value, right, by a, a number, say, um, a constant, right, 2000, okay? 
so uh, let's call it uh, tiling I don't call it tiling let's call it seed okay and um, it's just a random number you know so um, but basically is to give the UV to the noise texture that we have right so let's bring in the noise texture okay and we connect it to the UV right and in this case once uh, so this will basically achieve what we are trying to do to get the position of the object and then pinpoint it to a portion of the noise map and then the result will give me the um, a, a, a value from 0 to 1 right and I just need the red channel because um, um, it's a linear um, value so I just need a black and white value right so I feed it to the output result okay very simple so um, let's continue okay now that we have created our randomizer node we can test it out here so this is the normal wood material that I created here so what we do is we can see what what is it producing right so let's bring the material function in and you know see what is it outputting right so when I when I put the randomizer right you can see that um, although it's the same material it's giving me a different values in black and white some are darker some are lighter right and if you move um, the object you realize that it does change in color because um, it's using the position of the object to read the noise map yeah so that's how it works so so every time you change position um, you will uh, change the random value just like this 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 is what I pre-created as you can see if I move it you see it will change uh, the random value right so so this is what the randomizer does yeah so um, so what can we do with this randomizer you know and uh, I'll show you in the next portion but before that I'm gonna correct this spelling mistake and then we'll continue from there okay so like last week I showed you you can use the you know for instance random to change the shade by multiplying the diffuse value right and or we can use it as a lerp with other colors to get to get different colors um, using the randomizer you know so you can use it like the per instance random is the same way so you can either multiply or use it as a lot for for this particular randomizer as well but today I'm going to show you how we can change the UV right so basically um, to work with UVs we have texture coordinates right and because it's a value giving from a value from 0 to 1 and we're going to multiply the texture coordinate right so generally um, I will increase the tiling first right so um, because no matter what happens when I multiply the randomizer it, the value will always be smaller than one you know so I will increase it first so that um, I'll get back a better ratio right so so um, let's multiply it by a tiling yeah so let's get a constant yeah convert it to parameter and call it tiling you know and uh, I'll set it to 3 yep so so this is my UV and then I will multiply it you know to my randomizer right and I'll feed it to my diffuse map yeah so once I do that okay voila so this is what happened as you can see you know the UV sometimes can get still can get a bit wonky so let's increase the tiling a bit you know um, you can also use clamp if you want to yeah so so there are you know different ways to work around this so we can actually use some um, um, clamp you know to say that um, I only want a value between let's say I don't know um, say 0.3 to 0.6 you know something like that or maybe 0.7 you know something like that so so the UV will not be as wonky as that you know but uh, do take note that with with clamp you then um, limit some of the values because anything below 0.3 you then increase it to 0.3 anything above 0.7 you then decrease it 0.7 so there will be there will be more um, distribution of uh, objects you know where there is a uh, um, 
0.3 and 0.7 you know just like in this scenario so it, de it depends on what you want to do right but um, it's a great way to um, randomize things yep so this is uh, one way so through this you get a different um, UVs right of course you can also add some offset to it yeah so perhaps what you can do is to um, offset so you can um, use a pen yeah a pen vector and then you um, just fit the randomizer to this a uh, pen nodes and then you add to your UVs okay so let me just fit this in fit this in and fit this in so again you just uh, offset some of the UVs randomly right so when I save this yeah it will it will do the offsetting you know by the randomizer so this is one way you can get a great um you know randomizer right so yeah so you know um i i think um is uh, something really useful so i hope you find this uh, video useful um in the next portion of this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can add a static boolean parameter to use it together with the per instance random node okay so let's continue okay so the last part of this tutorial i'm going to show you how to add um you know make it work together with the per instance random right so so i have um this output you know this particular nodes for the static meshes i have per instance random for the instance meshes so um so i just want to create one material function where i can have both you know so that um you know i don't have to create two types of material one for instance one for you know one for static meshes right so how do how do i do that i use a static uh, switch parameter so so basically um let's just call it our first static switch parameter so what it does is um um it's gonna choose either this or this right so i can put a question like is this um let's put is this instance mesh question mark right so let's make it bigger for you to see so is this instance mesh if it is true then i use per instance random if it is not true then i'll use whatever that i have built specifically for static meshes right and then feed it to the output okay so when i do that it's going to change uh, everything because uh, um, it's gonna okay it's not gonna change in this instance because um, um, uh, how should I put it uh, let's create a material instance yeah and assign this to them okay so in this case we already know that this is not an instance mesh that's why it is choosing um, this material node is choosing this particular path right but if we were to um, put some foliages or you know an, an instance um, meshes so let's say I put a foliage yeah and I try to kind of like populate um, this wall okay maybe let me just add a plane first you know to illustrate what I mean yeah so Okay, so I have a plane. I'm gonna populate some some walls, right? Okay. Now, if I'm going to assign this material that I created um, to this this wall, right? You realize that it's not gonna um, have any difference because um, it doesn't. Um, understand what's going on right so we need to tell um, unreal engine that this is an instance mesh through the material functions that we built once we take it uh, then the randomization will happen because now once we take it it's using this path it's using per instance random instead of the one that we built for static mesh yeah so so it's very cool yep um, so using this method you can just create one material you know uh, one master material and then you can use it 
for your instance mesh and your static mesh. Yep, so I hope um, you know whatever I show you today it will be useful to you. And yeah, again, if you have uh, any questions, feel free to ask me on the comment section. Uh, if you have uh, any problems they are facing, you know, you um, again comment and, and uh, I'll see what I can do. You know, um, I love to experiment with these kind of things as well. So I'll see you in the next video and uh, thank you for watching the video. Bye.